Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be showing you how I made a shiny Meowth. If you've been watching my Instagram for the last few days, or if you haven't, you should really go and follow me, um, you had been noticing that I have been uploading a variety of sculptures. I started off with making sculptures out of soap, but the texture was really getting to me and it's really messy at the moment. And even though I really like working with soap because I can just make a full bar of soap, much like this cute little guy right here, I thought, well, what if I used clay? I stumbled on a couple of YouTubers who have been working with polymer clay, and then I also found at Hobby Lobby a uh, Kato poly clay. So anything poly clay related apparently works really well in making things like Meowth, or if you have an original character like me. Q is actually one of my original characters I made in high school. She is an element of embodied anime characters. I was really proud of her. I had never worked with polymer clay before this, and I did not record making Q mostly because, well, I'd never worked with polymer clay before and I didn't want to mess up on camera and I didn't want to get stressed out and derailed and being like, I can't do it. Ah. I did record on um, the second time making shiny Mew, which I think this is the shiny Aloha Mew. Mew? Meowth? God, I can't talk today. Shiny Meowth from Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I actually have Pokemon Moon, and I really love this Meowth. It's like one of my favorites, and I was really glad that I got the paint needed to make him the color possible. So, and if you're new to the channel, hi, hello, it's so nice to meet you. Please hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out, and if you hit the notification bell, you'll always get updated on when I'm uploading a new video. You can also go to all of my other social media, wherever they're at on the screen, or at least in the description box below. Without further ado, uh, if you would like to see how I made Shiny Meow, just keep watching this video. Okay, first we're going to start off with the frame of the body. I'm trying to make the general shape of Meow. I know that he will be kind of leaning on his side, on his feet, kind of looking really sassy. So I'm just making the frame of both his torso, his arms, and then shaping out those legs. And I think trying to make him balance took the longest part of the entire sculpture. But sure enough, after a few tries, I was confident in him standing straight up on his own. And with some general masking tape or uh, painter's tape, uh, it holds just well. But then I start with shaping out the body using recycled aluminum from the Reynolds wrap. Um, it's a little bit thinner, but I recommend using it. Uh, it can be really fragile if you're not careful enough. Um, I'm very hard-handed and I kept squishing his body, so I ended up making a second uh, filler, you could say, for his torso to help kind of give him that plump, sassy Meowth look. And the really, the only way I did his arms and legs was by making a long strip of aluminum like you see now and then wrapping that around those individual limbs. Uh, they held together pretty easily, no tape needed. This video was actually inspired by Ace of Clay. I had saw him do a collab as well as a couple other videos of doing sculptures and I was like, wow, he makes it look so easy. I think I can do that. And so please go check him out. He's got like a lot of cool stuff. Everything from a reaper to a dragon. Just go check it out. The clay I'm using is super sculpty. I'm wrapping it, everything up in the clay and trying to make it last as much as possible. It may look like I'm using a lot, but I'm really only using about mm, maybe a sixth or a fourth of one slab of the clay. So I just roll it out with a rolling pin and it's just as easy as a pasta maker. So you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money to make it look good. But if you already have it, you know, it helps to be convenient. 
And of course, if you're curious about all of the stuff that I used in this video, because I don't have a lot of fancy tools and equipment, you can just check out the description box below of where I bought everything. I really like that when I was cutting the clay, uh, I didn't intend to, but the shapes that I had made with the clay actually perfectly suited his body, both front and back. Like, they look, worked like puzzle pieces. I was really impressed and didn't realize it. Um, as I said in my intro, this is my first time working with polymer clay, and I'm really heavy-handed on top of that, so it was a weird sensation to get everything completely blended because then I could equally see uh, my, the indentions and it was forming to the aluminum a little too well. So if you want to use a thicker aluminum and you know, a future project, go right ahead. It'll just help you fill it out a little bit more. And with the proper tools, you can of course smooth everything out a little bit better. If you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. And if you want to see something else in the future, a different Pokemon, or just any kind of sculpture, put that down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you would like to see me make next. So now I'm just adding some detail to the body. He is really kind of plump looking, like I said, like a flat, like a fat cat. Um, and I'm not too worried about covering his neck right away because I'll be sticking a skewer in there to help hold his head together. And I think the biggest problem at this point was just making sure that his legs and torso were completely covered with no aluminum showing except for the neck. So. Uh, then I wanted to enunciate or accentuate, per se, uh, his paws. I wanted to make sure that you could actually see him being really sassy, throwing his wrists down. So this is the skewer that will help hold everything together. I put it pretty deep down in his torso to make sure that everything would hold together well and he wouldn't break later. Again, now I'm just making a extra ball from more aluminum. I'm sorry that everything was off camera. Um, it's really hard to see to make sure that I'm in focus when I just get in the zone and start working. I promise the next video will be a lot better about these angles. And off camera, because my camera kept getting overheated, I just rolled out smaller pieces of clay to make the ears. So that is me putting the ears on now. Um, I'm looking at a picture of Meowth to make sure that I have the shape of his ears right. But if I could redo this again, I would definitely redo the ears to both have that kind of eclipse looking like the left ear. The right ear seems pretty protruding on the inside, which is something I don't like looking back at it now, but it's just a learning experience, so I'm not too worried about it. I was actually really happy that it came out looking like a cat, so. Next, I'm doing the whiskers. Uh, they were a little too fragile to stay up on their own, so I ended up putting small pieces of copper in them and then trying to make them match as much as possible to help stand up. I considered doing it with a toothpick. And then I'm making Meowth's coin that goes on his forehead. Now 
Next, I'm carving out where everything should be on the face and I'm going to go ahead and put some clay on it later. And again, my camera was overheating so I had to take everything and go ahead and bake it and while my camera cooled down I had already put the black polymer clay on his face. I took the suggestion from Ace of Clay to get the specific kind of purple paint. Then of course you see my husband in the background showing me pictures of stuff, so don't mind that. Honestly, the head was pretty easy. I know he has more whiskers, so I'll be doing those off camera and then attaching them later with super glue. And I was just trying to be really careful here to add the paint around his eyes so I wouldn't overlap into his teeth or anything like that. To be honest, trying to outline those eyes and mouth was really hard because I had to make the black polymer clay super super tiny and then put it on very delicately so I didn't smash everything. But that's also why you pre-bake so that way you don't smash the rest of it while you're trying to make that face as perfect as possible. There's nothing perfect about this project mind you but I'm really really proud uh, that this turned out as well as it did. I've been so afraid to work with this clay. I've only ever worked with ceramic clay to be fired in a kiln never with the ones that you bake at home so this was like a really great first experience for me. Just adding a little bit of yellow and making his coin nice and golden and I'll also be outlining the indentions with uh, black paint as well. Next time I'll also blend a lot better because I will have the proper tools to do blending like the ballpoint. And then of course just adding some regular black paint to his ears to accentuate everything and to darken up the bits of his eye that I missed. And then lastly, I have his tail. I did not put any coil in this time. I just pre-baked it so it would be strong enough to stay on his tail. And then I painted it and let it dry. And now I'm attaching it with super glue. And trust me, putting it on via super glue takes a really long time. I'm gonna have to try and take on the suggestion of using industrial adhesive to see if that works better next time but they still work just fine. Also, while I pre-baked everything, I had already made the other whiskers off camera, so I just wanted to attach them. These did not have any coil in them. They are just pre-baked whisker rolls. And after everything was said and done, this particular whisker had actually popped off so I was able to glue him back on, but it was no problem. And this is actually a really sturdy sculpture. Again, I was really impressed with the quality that the Super Sculpt D uh, was able to offer, so I'm really excited to work with this again in the future. Six and a half hours later, he is done. This is my shiny Meowth. Well guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me and watching me as I made a shiny Meowth. These are all on my social media. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. So go on there, check me out. Let's hang out a little bit. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye!